In module two, we're going to have a look how you can organize your drawing setup. The key concepts are setting up new drawings, setting units, scales, etc. Organizing the layers, how to use templates, how to create your own templates. The aims and objectives are to gain an understanding of how to set up AutoCAD before starting a drawing. An initial drawing setup includes a border, title block, units of measurement, layering, and line types. Equally important is the styles that it's been using for dimensioning, hatching, and text. Any work that you put into an AutoCAD drawing, you can save that as a template. You can reuse that template for a similar drawing. You can alter that template as the need might be. A template has standard settings, whether you use the default template, a customized template, and also note that any drawing can be used as a template. To create a drawing from scratch from AutoCAD, select File, New. In the dialog box, we're going to select Start from Scratch. We're going to use metric settings since we are in South Africa. And you click OK. It has automatically used the default template for AutoCAD. And this file name is acadiso.dwt for metrics. And for the English Imperial, it would have been acad.dwt. Use a template wizard. The settings that is defined in the drawing template will be used. From the menu, select File, New. Select Use a Template. There you can see a list of templates. Alternatively, you can browse and locate a template on your computer. Once you've selected your template, just click OK. Using the Quick Setup Wizard to start a new drawing, you're going to help define the units of measurement and the drawing area. From the menu, select File. New. In the dialog box, the last one, use a wizard, select Quick Setup, click OK. We're going to stay with a default decimal. You can see the other options there. Click Next. And this width and the length is the full scale in meters since we are using metric. And you can click Finish. With the Advanced Setup Wizard, you can define the unit of measurement, angle of measurement, the direction, the orientation, and the area. From the menu, select File, New. Select User Wizard, Advanced Setup if necessary. Click OK. Take note that on the Engineering and Architectural units, it will produce feet and inches, the decimal, fractional, and scientific, any real-world unit. Click Next. On the angle of measurement, the surveyor units will show the angles as bearings using N and S for north and south, degrees, minutes, and seconds for how far east or how far west. Then we also have the other options there. Click Next. The direction AutoCAD measure the angles from. The default is zero degrees east. You can also specify your own. Click Next. The angle direction. If you select clockwise, it will basically calculate the positive angles in a clockwise direction. You will see the default here is counterclockwise. Click Next. And then the area represented in meters since we are working in metrics. And then you can click Finish. At any time, you can change any of the values of the units. Every drawing is measured in units. From the menu, you can select Format, choose Units. Alternatively, you can type Units or DD Units in the command line for the drawing units. There you have, like we've seen in the Advanced Setup Wizard, there you've got all the length, the decimal, at the angles. Yeah, you also got the scale. If you drop down, you can select there. And then just take note on the lightning. That controls the unit of measurement for the intensity of photometric lights in the current drawing. In the drop-down box, you can see there's international, American, and generic. 
take note you need to use another unit than generic it will not work on generic if you click on direction there you can change your base angles or specify another angle just going to click OK here usually we only specify the scale of drawing until we plot it is a drawing scale of 1 to 1 by default you can just click here on the plot icon press Control and P or go file plot by default you will see it says fit to paper and it will automatically calculate for you if you want to enter your own custom size just clear the checkbox and enter it we can also set it up beforehand so for example we know we want to draw to a scale of 1 to 20 you will take your width of the paper 210 times 20 that is 4200 millimeter it is 4.2 meters then 297 by 20 5900 millimeters that's 5.9 meters and you can set your drawing limits for your area according to that we can set the grid the grid is a pattern of dots that is extend over area specified by the limits in the status bar just click on grid it will not plot out these grids you can specify the spacing for the grids type in the settings you can also select from the menu tools drafting settings you can enter values for the X and the Y spacing and also for the major line then another nice feature for it here is snap on snap mode restricts the movement of a crosshair to the intervals that is defined in this case is equal to the x and y spacing over here it kind of snap your objects to an invisible grid if i can put it that way <laughs> click ok by any time you can toggle the modes on and off by just clicking grit or snap or whatever on the status bar. You can organize your drawing nicely into layers. Layers are the equivalent of overlays used in paper based drawings. You will always be drawing in layers even if it is the default layers. On the toolbar you can click there on the layer properties manager or on the command line just type layer in the dialog box we're going to click on new layer we're going to give it the name center remember no spaces allowed we're going to change here the color to red click OK under the line type here we're going to load and Let's scroll down. I'm going to use hidden. Click OK. Select hidden. Click OK. And you can apply and OK. We're going to end off today's lesson to look how to create our own templates. As we've seen, any drawing that we've created is based on a template. You do your changes that you want, add your objects, whatever you want in your template. Go File, Save As. From the drop down box, select AutoCAD Drawing Template. I'm going to call this layers 2 click save in the description in the description box i'm going to call drawing with different layers click ok and voila if it happens by any chance that you have overwritten a default template like the acad or the acad or iso just launch the wizard select start from scratch I'm going to use metric you can click OK 
and you can just go file save as save it as a template give it the name ACAT ISO if it was for the metric if it was for the English imperial system it is called ACAT Estabom, that's it in the next lesson we will have a look how to use the coordinated systems